Hey guys, welcome back to another Tackle Your To-Do List With Me video. Today, a lot of the things on my list are organization things. Not a bunch of cleaning or anything, I did that earlier this week, but I do have a lot of areas in my home that need a little bit of TLC and organization, so I ordered some things to kind of revamp some of the messier spaces in my house. So I hope this helps motivate you if you have areas in your house that you need to organize. And if not even organization, I still hope this motivates you to get the things on your to-do list done. So this is everything on my to-do list today. I want to clean the top of our fridge that's we kind of come like a catch-all place. And I have not cleaned it since we moved in, so I want to do that. I want to organize the kids' artwork drawer. Uh, I have birthday stuff from their birthday party that needs to go into storage. I need to reorganize our junk drawer, put away some paper towels, and then put away a Sam's order. So the first thing I'm going to be starting with is this hot mess of a drawer. It doesn't even want to open all the way. This has become like the catch-all for all of the kids' artwork through last year and, you know, the start of this year. And it's getting to a point where the drawer no longer closes and I just need this to be a little more organized. So what I did is I ordered some like Sterilite bins and these are made to like put like files in so that way I can file like pre-k to 12th grade so I ordered files as well so I have a different color for each kid so I have pink purple blue and black and that way each kid will have their own bin with all of their artwork to take when they grow up but it also frees up this because I want this drawer to be more like this stuff like homework stuff supplies office stuff that still will be what this drawer is, but I need to get all of the clutter out of here. I want to know how you guys store all of your kids artwork and things do you do the bin idea do you have another way that you like even better if so let me know down below but I will have these bins as well as the folders and everything else you see in today's video linked down below for you guys if you want to check it out
Okay, all of the kids' stuff is now in their bins. Shay obviously doesn't have really anything. She has her um, thing from when she was dedicated at church, and then Noah has the same one. But Noah's has daycare, Analia's has daycare. So Isaac obviously just has pre-K, and he has like one thing in kindergarten. But I put enough files in each of theirs to go all the way through their senior year of high school. So this even has like Isaac's class photo, his class award he got last year. And then I also ordered name decals from Etsy. They just aren't here yet, but I'll put that on the front of these so we can know whose is whose. And I will probably just stick these in our storage closet so that way I can keep adding to them as we get things. But they are, you know, gonna be perfectly sealed with the lid. So don't have to worry about the elements or anything getting to this stuff, which I really, really like. These also come in clear, but I like the black just because that way you're not seeing like all the clutter inside of it. So these are done. I do need to label them. Um, I have the labels here in the front. I just don't know if I will have time today, but if I do, I will add those as well. Okay, the next thing on my list is also in this same bar area. So this is the drawer that I just finished organizing. And then we have on the other end our main junk drawer. And I did organize this not that long ago, but it's already a hot mess again. So I need to go back in here, reorganize everything, take things out that don't need to be in here. Um, I do have these awesome little bins in here that are really cool. Um, just some black little storage containers to help kind of keep everything organized. But, but I'm going to get this back in order next. <laughs> entryway acts is like our diaper changing station we always change our kids on our living room couch most of the time so this is just where the diapers stay they don't stay in their rooms and it's worked out really well for us so far but now that all three of my youngest are in the same size diapers we run through them so quickly that I am constantly restocking this drawer <laughs> Okay, I just refilled our diaper and wipes drawer, and then I have the extras down there. I pulled these three out to restock around the house, so my diaper bag needed one. The girls' restroom needed one, because that's where we bathe them, so we need wipes in there to change them before they get in the bath. And then one for our room. Okay, the last couple things I got from Sam's that I need to put away are these paper towels. Well, I actually got these from our store, but Either way, those need to get put away. And then I also got a box of Kind Bars for myself, so I need to put that away in the pantry. And then I will tackle this little birthday mess and the top of my fridge. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter if I'm gone by now
like I pretend Keep on driving and driving along the road tonight As my head don't feel my spark Between the jars and bottle jar Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving Okay, I got all the Sam stuff put away and I'm about to tackle the top of the fridge. I only have about like 45 minutes left to get everything done. But all I have is this and then the little bit of birthday stuff that needs to get put away. But I think I'm gonna have to take a dining room chair in order to get up here because I do not know where our step stool is. But this has become like a catch all for everything and I really, it just bugs me to look at it. So I wanna just get up there, get whatever's on there off, find it a home or throw it away and give that a good wipe down because I know it has to be dusty. In the heat from a hot California I forgot how you look like in rain I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on Okay, the last thing on my list was to put all this stuff up. A lot of it is the party favors, the extra ones from the kids' birthday this year, and then just all the bags that all of their gifts came in just because I plan on reusing them for things. But I just checked and the little like wrapping paper gift bag thing that I have is buried deep into storage so I cannot move everything to get it out to put the stuff in. So this will just have to wait till Isaiah gets home tonight and then he can put that away for me. But that is everything that I had on my list for today. I'm about to head out. So I got everything done that I wanted to get done besides the gift bag stuff in two hours. It took a lot out of me and it was definitely go, go, go until I got it done. But I'm so glad that I got to check everything off. So I hope this gives you the motivation to get everything checked off on your to-do list. Even if you don't have a lot of time, just taking an hour or two to just really go hard at something, you can actually get quite a bit done. But Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye, guys.